Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be recreating Ragnarok from Ark Survival Evolved inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now, if you don't know what Ark is, essentially it's a dinosaur game where you can tame dinosaurs, craft your own base, and PvP other players. Originally, they made Ark 1 inside of Unreal Engine 4, known as Ark Survival Evolved, and then they released a remastered version of their game inside of Unreal Engine 5, which is known as Ark Ascended. They announced that they would remaster every single DLC map, including one of my my favorite maps Ragnarok. Unfortunately I didn't want to wait till September for them to release this map and of course there's always going to be things like delays so I decided to take matters into my own hands and recreate this iconic arc map inside of Unreal Engine 5 myself. Now before we dive into the video check out my courses on smartpoly.teachable.com if you are interested in making games inside of Unreal Engine luckily for you I have a complete multiplayer survival game course which shows you step by step how to create a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine. I'm going to be remastering this course in Unreal Engine 5.4 and adding some new features in the course like controller input support, first and third person mode, and so much more. So if you haven't picked the course up yet, I highly recommend you do as I will be remastering it when they release Unreal Engine 5.4. Now with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. To remaster Ark Ragnarok inside of Unreal Engine, I needed the original map and game data. So I went ahead and downloaded the Ark mod kit. Now this is what you use to create mods for the game, but it actually Actually includes the entire game, all the DLC maps, and all the 3D assets, things like trees, rocks, and all that stuff. So once I got it all downloaded, I opened up Ragnarok, and yeah, here we are inside of Unreal Engine 4, or the Ark mod kit. And here on Ragnarok, you can see that we have things like Blue Ob over here. You have all the trees, all these meshes. Basically, I'm going to take the landscape height map, or the terrain, and export it so I can re-import it to Unreal Engine 5. And it's kind of crazy it allows you to do this, but yeah, I just exported that out and set up a brand new project in Unreal Engine 5. And I imported this landscape with the same exact scale, size, and proportions so that the map would be the same exact scale as in the original game. So once I got all the terrain imported, all I needed to do was add some ocean. So for this, I added this plugin called Oceanology, which adds a quick infinite ocean to our game. So yeah, now we have this infinite ocean and it looks absolutely incredible. I mean, it even adds things like wet shorelines. So you can see the material on the terrain there looks like it's sort of wet from the waves crashing on the shoreline. Now the next thing I needed to do was fix up the lighting and add some volumetric clouds. So I downloaded and added this ultra dynamic sky plugin, which adds a fully dynamic weather system. So I can do things like change the weather, the time of day, I can make it raining or snowing, whatever I need. And it also adds these very nice, beautiful volumetric clouds that look really good. That was looking pretty good so far. Now my next goal was to start importing the assets from the Arc dev kit. So things like the obelisks, we have things like the blue ob, the red ob, green ob. So I went and exported those models and imported them into my project, set up things like the materials real quick, and I got them positioned roughly in the same location where they have it in the original game. So we have things like blue ob over there, red ob and green ob. And of course we can't forget to add this little tech pad where you can transfer out or you can start things like the boss arenas. So yeah, let's go ahead and export that real quick import it like so and we can place this down and my god it actually looks really beautiful and i know this is just an empty map right now but it looks absolutely incredible with all the lighting the clouds the water lastly i wanted to add a superhero flight system so we could walk around or fly around our map and explore it like the good old days so yeah here we are at blue ob it just looks so beautiful inside of unreal engine 5 with all the lighting and the ocean and the funny thing is it probably only took me about 30 minutes to make this or put it together which is a couple of marketplace plugins and the old terrain map and it looks pretty damn good so yeah this is blue ob usually you have these big rock pillars on each side but i'll have to go in and add those in later but yeah let's just go ahead and fly around here and check things out this is actually where the jungle is at so a lot of jungle trees over here but let's start flying over to the viking bay area viking bay is the classic noob location or at least where a lot of new players would spawn in and try to build up i have a lot of Good old memories from that location. Yeah, this looks absolutely beautiful. It's missing a couple of different meshes. Like there's some big rock bridge right there. And also there's usually a big dinosaur skeleton or like rib cage right here. So those are a couple of different meshes I'll have to import. And then over here we have the Viking Bay Cave. And wow, the water looks absolutely incredible. And yeah, this is Viking Bay. Let me know if you guys recognize some of the locations that you see here based purely on just the terrain. But yeah, let's go ahead and fly up here. And this is where the 
Alpha Plat is located. And in the game, they have this big castle that sits right up on this location. But yeah, let's just go ahead and pan around and look at that. We can see just the blue ob in the distance green ob over there and it just looks so good inside of unreal engine 5 but yeah let's go ahead and fly over here this is the canyons area i remember this area because because you can go here at any time and see griffins flying around here and it's actually crazy how much depth this map has like it's very vertical in a sense that you have these very tall mountain peaks and then these canyons that go all the way down to the ocean like this so yeah let's go ahead and fly over to the volcano area and let's see if I can actually find it. Yeah, here we are. This is the volcano. Usually you have this lava pit over here. But if we fly down, this is where the lava cave was located. And there's tons of caves on this map, come to think about it. But yeah, this is usually where you'd have things like mantises, spiders, all those stuff that would spawn in in this zone. But yeah, let's head over to the Wyvern Scar. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the map. It's going to the Wyvern Scar to check and see if there's any high-level Wyvern eggs. But yeah, you'd come fly right in here with a PT or a Griffin, something that's fast. Hop off your dino real quick, pick up the egg, and fly out as fast as possible because all of the Wyverns would aggro onto you and you have to try to escape them. But yeah, over here, this is like the Highlands area. And this is also a very nice beginner area because a lot of sheep would spawn in this zone. So you could easily tame things like PTs, birds, all sorts of flyers as a low level player. But yeah, over here, if we head in this direction, this is the Red Ob. Yeah, let's go ahead and dive down here. And wow, the water actually looks really good in this location. But yeah, this is the Red Ob terminal. There's a big Redwoods forest that's right next to it. And again, I have a lot of good memories of PvPing and running through that little forest area. But I think we should fly over to the desert area next. And yeah, it's actually so insane how tall some of these mountains are. Like I said before, the map is very vertical. So you definitely have to have some sort of flyer to get around the map. But yeah, look at this. So we are on top of the world over here. We can see stuff like the desert. We have the Southwest Islands all the way over in the distance. And we can even see stuff like the obs. So we have a green ob, blue ob, and even red ob. But yeah, let's actually go ahead and dive down here into the desert. We can see all these sand dunes down there. I don't recall spending too much time in this area of the map. But I remember this is a spawn zone for things like death worms. And also the titan would spawn in this region. So if you wanted to gain a lot of experience, you could just go down here, farm them up, and kill them for experience. I also remember they had these things like these red desert drops that you could farm for blueprints and ascended gear. So that was also another reason to come down to the desert. But yeah, I actually wanted to go on a little rant about Ark Ascended because I actually played the game when it released. So Ark Ascended was supposed to be a Unreal Engine 5 remaster of the original game with things like improved graphics and mechanics. And I ended up playing it for a bit and it just seemed like they missed the mark. In fact, you can look at things like the player count on Steam and it's died off significantly at where it was before. I mean, with the original Ark game, Ark Survival Evolved, it was sitting around 100k players, but now Ark Ascended is just a fraction of that. And it just kind of goes to show you that graphics and all that stuff isn't what makes a game. I think a lot of the problems with that game were the fact that they focused too much on the remastering part. They added too much unnecessary things. Like, for example, one thing I noticed is they added physics on stuff like the armor flak pieces. I mean, that's just completely useless. And I think it's a waste of things like performance resources. I mean, I probably could go on and on and list more examples, but it just seems like they focus way too much on the graphical side of things and not on stuff like the gameplay elements. And it's just pretty sad because there really isn't any other game that comes close to Ark in a sense that you have this very advanced uh, dino system where you can do things like taming, breeding, all the stats and all that stuff. And I mean, there's lots of PvP mechanics as well. And it's just a shame seeing... A game like this completely missed the mark. But yeah, maybe someone should go and rebuild the game inside of Unreal Engine 5 with all the gameplay mechanics. Maybe a lot of people would play that game instead. But yeah, here we are. We're heading over to Green Ob. And this is always a fun place to PvP around. I remember having a lot of fun PvP battles with other players in this location. And over here, this is like the Southwest Islands. So I never really spent too much time over there, but they had things like the Scorched Earth Dinos. So I think things like Jerboas, those Camel Dinos, I forget the name of those. They would spawn in that region. 
But yeah, let's go ahead and head back over here. This is the swamp area. So this swamp region of the map, now that I think about it, is actually really huge. And it's also very flat. So you can see this right on the coast. I remember this area in particular was super laggy in the original game because you would render in all of these Southwest islands. And so when you looked back in this area, your game would just freeze for a millisecond. But yeah, this is just beautiful looking around and seeing the obs in the distance and we can actually go ahead and fly back over to blue ob and let's just slam back down on the ground here but yeah i really love blue ob because it's where everyone would go to pvp back in the day it was just the most popular spot to transfer out so everyone would spawn in at this spot and everyone would transfer out at this spot and so because of that it would create a lot of pvp a lot of tension between other players and now i still have a lot of work to do on this map like obviously I'm missing stuff like the textures for the landscape, the terrain. So I'll probably have to work on that next. Also, I want to, instead of using things like the original meshes from the game, like the rocks and the trees, I'm going to use things like high quality nanite meshes so we can see what this map looks like fully remastered and detailed inside of Unreal Engine 5. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. What should I work on next? Is there a particular map that you want to see me mess around with? Let me know down in the comments below. And I really want to try and import the aberration map next inside of Unreal Engine 5 and just see what it looks like. So if you guys don't want to miss out on that next video make sure you hit that subscribe button so you guys will be notified when i upload a new video and as always i'll see you guys in the next one